we're streaming. Okay, going back to Zoom and we should be getting notifications any minute now. That we're streaming. Okay, going back to Zoom and we should be, there we go. <laughs> All righty. Let me get this. figured out here. Here we go. And let's see, here we are live. Special guest. Here we go. We've got folks on all <laughs> All righty. And let's see, here we go. Okay. Um, one second. I have got to figure out. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Where is my volume on there? Now I've got it. Okay. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Here we go. Okay. Um, one second. I have got to figure out. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Where is my volume on Chris there? Lynn, now see? I've got it. Okay. Alrighty. I do. I am making a big mess out of this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. One, um, all right. I think I'm just, I'm just so nervous because you guys, we have Chrislyn. Woo! Okay. I'm just, hold on. <laughs> um, hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Friday night scrapbooking. And I am here with our very, 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 very special guest, Chrislyn Matei. So I'm going to give you guys just a chance to hop on and say hello, because um, look at everybody. Chrislyn, can you see everybody who is already saying hello and hi? And sorry yeah. for the little glitches getting started, you guys. But um, look at, oh my goodness, Jenny's here from Australia. Chris, I can hear you. Okay. Sharon's saying we're on. Mona's here. Danny's here. Connie. Jane. Oh, Jane, I'm so glad you're home and well. Carolyn's here. Jan's here from New Jersey. Nancy's here. Yay. And Carrie's here. Carrie, are you still in Florida? Are you home? Lynette, Sharon, another Australian. Okay, you guys, there's just so many folks jumping on saying hello, and I am so, so, so excited to uh, share all of that with you guys. So we are going to, um, I, I'm going to just figure out why uh, we're not seeing um, our faces yet. So let me do something. Why are we front facing? Hmm. Chris Lynn, are you seeing that we are you can hear me on Zoom, right? Um, I can. Yeah. Let me do some front facing. Hmm. Chrislyn? Okay. Yes. There is something wrong here. Okay. Hi, everybody. Okay. Chrislyn. Um, oh, all right. I got to just figure this out for a second. What am I doing wrong? Let me go over here. Virtual camera. Uh, okay. I'm going to just do this. All right, let's see. Are we streaming now? Why is it just my, um, uh, okay, I'm, I'm frustrated. You guys, I'm, I'm really trying to, to get this um, tech stuff. Carrie, where are you? Help me, Carrie. Okay, because <laughs> I don't know why we're not showing up over on YouTube. You know what? I think it's an OBS thing. Hold on. I'm gonna have to, Lauren, I see us both on YouTube. Okay. Can we see both? Of oh, you can see both of us. Yes. You can see us. Okay. Oh, you know what? Duh. I need to refresh my screen. <laughs> All right. Thanks, you guys. I'm here. Okay. Really, really, really. Welcome. Everything looks good, Carrie. Yay. All right, you guys. Yay. You can see and hear us both. That is awesome. All right. So, ta-da, ta-da. Wait, which way am I going? Is it? <laughs> um, you can Carrie, see both of us. Okay, there's just one problem. I can't hear Chrislyn, so I'm going to figure that out. Let me just do a quick little intro <laughs> while you guys are saying hello. 
And I'm just super excited to have Crystal in here. And you guys wait till you see, we're going to do borders and she's got some amazing, amazing borders for us today. But I just want to say a couple little housekeeping details, and then I'm going to just turn it over and let Crystalyn do her thing. So, um, okay, good. <laughs> Thank you guys for helping me out because sometimes, you know, I just don't know which button to click and that's just the way it is because, you know, it's tech. All right, so I have notes because I don't wanna forget anything. First of all, I wanna say a big shout out and thank you for all you guys and all of your birthday wishes from our birthday bash a couple weeks ago. That was so fun. Julie from my Aussie buddy, Julie, I finally got your card. We have to laugh about that and thank you. Julie sent me one of my favorite things in the mail all the way from Australia, she sent me foam squares. You guys, that touches my heart because she knows me too well. Foam squares. Thank you, Julie. I love my foam squares. <laughs> All right. So a big, big thanks to everyone. You guys are just an awesome part of this community. And I love, love, love being here with you guys. So um, I just wanted to give you a little quick heads up, which is there, there's a new video on my channel finally, right? I know it took me a while. So if you guys have not had a chance to hop over and check out under the tips and tricks, okay, the tips and tricks, um, I'm going to just share real quick right here, my overhead, and I have a tips and tricks on how to make this patchwork star and some of these folded textured stars. And I love the way it works with the uh, United We Stand collection. So if you're interested in learning kind of just something fun to do on creating stars, and there's all kinds of reasons for creating stars, right? Then you can do that by watching my video. So get on over there and check it out. It's um, in the with the pink circles the tips and tricks so new video finally for you guys all right and also um there is a new promo okay i have to say this on youtube i've said it i already posted on facebook but i do have to post right here on youtube you guys um i'm gonna show you Ta -da! whoops Ta -da! <laughs> You're going to get $20 off your order June 14th through 18th. And all you have to do is use code ENJOY20. So that is pretty exciting, right, you guys? If you are interested, just write that code down starting June 14th at noon central. You're going to be able to use that code, that code. <laughs> there. Okay. So um, I love it when Creative Memories treats us well. Don't you, Chris Lynn? I think it's just yeah. amazing when we get stuff like that. And I am not going to waste any more time because there is just something special to have. Chris Lynn, we just, we make your borders all the time. We love your pages. I talk about you all the time. I talk about you, you know, go to the blog, look up Chris Lynn, just put it in the search, you know, you'll find all her stuff. And so many of us have been just fangirls from the beginning. So it's just a dream to have you here. So if you'd like to kind of tell us a little bit about where you are and a little bit about your creative memories journey, and then we'll jump in and have some fun. Okay, Sounds I'm gonna great. turn it on over to you. Remember your mute button. Okay. <laughs> can you hear me, Lauren? You can hear me? Um, I'm gonna ask you to unmute. Okay, hang on just a sec. I think. If you go up to the little three dots on your, if you hover over your photo, okay, you. your picture, um, or, or yeah, let's see. I still see the little red, um, or down in the bottom, left corner. Is there a, a mute little microphone? Lauren, it's my phone. Or, or, Lauren? Yeah, let's see. I still see the little red um, or down in the bottom left corner. Is there a, a Okay. There. Got it. You got it. I know. Lauren, <laughs> okay. I've got my phone. Um, I'm, I'm hearing um, echo. So 
It's we can hear you. Yes, yes. Go, go, go. <laughs> You're good. Okay, I just muted my phone. Okay, now can you hear me okay? Okay, there, got it. All right. You got it. I will. How are we doing? Is it looking good now? Can you hear me, Chris Lynn? How are we doing? Is it looking good now? Can you hear me, Chris Lynn? Lots of echoing. Okay, Chris Lynn, try this. If you How are we doing? Hear, if you can hear me. Is it looking Um. Try your phone, try the volume all the way down on your phone or, or on the computer, like pick one or the other. Try the volume all the way down on your phone or, or on the computer, like pick one. Okay, Car or is Carrie in the chat? Carrie, 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 what should she do? Carrie, 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 <laughs> okay. We can hear Lauren fine, but echo for Chris Lynn. Okay. Welcome to everyone who is just joining us. Um, and we're just trying to get our little um, tech, little, little tech thing going on right now. So, so Lauren, oh, you, you guys, we've got over a hundred people on tonight. It is Friday night scrapbooking at its best. I'm so excited. So this is fun. We're just going to take care of the little techie um, issue with the sound and then we'll see what's happening. Okay. We're, we're going to get this worked out and, and you guys are going to have so much fun seeing everything. So just stay tuned and hang on. Let me go back over to, I'm going to um, make sure my volume is off on YouTube. It's also, if you have YouTube on, Chris Lynn, maybe switch volume off on YouTube. I did. Okay, I did that just now. Can <laughs> you hear me now? Echo is on YouTube. I think what we can do is just have Zoom on. Just have your tube on, Chris Lynn, maybe. And I'm still getting echoes too, so I had to switch that off. Hang on. Um, I think I can figure this out. Okay, let me go. Um, okay, Lauren, can you hear me right now? You're out. Here we are right here. Okay. Lauren, you can't hear me? Okay, hold on. Carrie's calling. Carrie to the rescue. Hi, Carrie. <laughs> okay, how, but they, they said there was a big echo for Chris Lynn. So what do you think? She's fine now? Okay. But I don't think Lauren can hear me. So Perry. Um, okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Thanks, Gary. Okay. So I'll mute. Okay. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Gary. Okay. Bye. Lauren, can you okay. hear me? All right. So Chris Lynn, can you hear me in Zoom? Okay. I'm you just go ahead and talk and I'm gonna mute me. Carrie was thinking maybe it's you coming through my computer. So I'm gonna put myself okay. on mute. And put you go back on and just go. Let let's just go for it and and see what happens. 
All right, guys. Um, interrupt me if if nobody um, can hear you. She's fine now. Okay. Okay. And let me go here. Okay, I started my video. Are you able to switch me over? All right, I hope I'm good to go here. Um, I don't have YouTube on because of the echo. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to just wing it. Um, somebody needs to let me know if I'm, if my screen is working. I'm unmuted now. Okay. I'm good. Can you hear me in Zoom, Carrie? I mean, <laughs> Chrislyn. Okay. I can. You can. Okay. Yes. I'm, I can kind of hear you. Your screens look great. So I'm going to okay. keep myself muted so there's no echo and you just go for it. Awesome. Okay. 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 I'm good. I don't know what's going on, guys, but I'm sure happy to be here. And um, a little bit about myself. I guess I am from Duluth, Minnesota, and I've been a Creative Memories advisor for 27 years. So it's easy for me to keep track of because it's when my daughter was born, and that's how I found this yeah, amazing company. I guess I am from and so I, I'm just thrilled to be here. I'm having more fun now than I ever have. And I'm excited to show you some borders. I love making borders because they are a really easy way to add some flair to your pages while still keeping the focus on your photos. So that's, um, I often pair them with Fast to Fab album. I, I tend to work in Fast to Fab albums and just personalize them a little bit with, with some borders here and there. Um, but so that's kind of, that's kind of a little bit of where I'm coming from. And I would love to just share with you a few ideas. I'm going to try to go slow enough that you can work alongside me. So if you would like to do that, let me just tell you, um, you know, kind of, I'll, I'll kind of give you an overview and you can get your supplies together. What I've used here um, are the new botanical burst papers and embellishments. And um, they're just gorgeous. When we've had mix and match type collections in the past, we've had mix and match, we've had blend and bloom, and they have been just super fun. And they also round out other collections. So it's really nice to be able to use them really flexibly with lots of other kinds of things. So um, this one, I decided to go ahead and make some borders. And what I've done in the past too, is I've created several borders using each of the colors in the collection and then kind of switched it up and mixed them together with other collections in the end. So if you wanna find some of my older borders, you can go onto the Creative Memories blog and search mix and match, search blend and bloom, and you will find lots of these types of versatile borders. They're simple to make and they're, they're just really effective. So the ones you can see here, I, I utilize the brand new flag banner punch with each of them and lots of flowers. And then I use each of the colors. So today I wanna to mix it up a little bit and I'm just gonna choose the pink collection and I'm gonna make a border with the summertime collection. So kind of pairing the pink papers 
and the summertime papers because I just can't get enough of that. So I'm just going to keep this here for reference. <clears throat> and let me just grab out a few of the papers that I thought went nicely together. So we've got some gorgeous flamingos. And I love the fast fab papers in the summertime collection too. It's like getting little samples of all kinds of different papers. And if you love to do borders, you can just cut these up and use all these different colors and different patterns. So this is a great way to get a lighter pink and some just some different patterns that you don't get in the solid papers. And I also like to use them as fast to fab, you know, just lay them out on my page too. But I'm gonna use this beautiful kind of sea aqua color. And then I'm gonna use the pink stripes and I'm gonna use the pink flowers from the pink botanical burst. So to get started, we're gonna need the flag banner punch. Or if you don't have this one yet, you can choose a different one. Lots to choose from. I just love the festiveness of this punch. We're gonna need a 12 inch trimmer with the straight and scallop blades. And of course, repositionable adhesive. So to start with, we're gonna cut our the base of the border. And I'm gonna to try to give you some dimensions as we go so that you're able to follow along. But of course, you can always play back the video and, and watch again when you've got everything all put together. So let's start with the base. I like to start with the base and we first wanna make a scallop edge for the top. Okay, so we'll put that in. Wanna make sure your little flower is pointing towards the bulk of the trimmer. So pointing left, get the right scallop in there. And we're just gonna get a nice little scallop edge going. All right, switch it back. And now we're gonna just cut a, let's see, 12 by two and three eighths inch. So somewhere like right about there. And I'm gonna march this. So if you're following along and you want to do this one. Okay, so that's what we're looking for right there. All right, now we'll cut the, um, the piece right here, okay? And that I'm going to use this really cool color here. And you know what, first I'm gonna cut the inside because I wanna use the flamingos for this bright um, printed paper here. So I wanna use flamingos and I want like two rows of flamingos. So I'm gonna start there so I get I'm gonna take just a tiny bit off the bottom here. I'm kind of looking for about a one inch piece, but I really want two rows of two of those. So mine's gonna to get to be a little bit wider and that's okay, we've got room to play with. So there we go. So you can, you can fudge these measurements a little bit, it doesn't matter too much. So I'm gonna say this is 12 by one, but you know, know that you can play with that. And now I'm gonna cut this one and we just want it a little bit bigger than that. So this one, I cut out about one and a quarter, one and, did I do one and three days? We'll go a little bit more than one and a half. About. Okay, so this one, if you're playing along, is going to be about 12 by one and a quarter. Okay, these are the pieces that you should have cut so far, right? And I'm just gonna leave them up right here for a little bit so you can catch up if you're a little bit behind. And then we're gonna punch some borders with the flag band punch. And we're gonna do three of them. I want to have kind of this little cascading effect. So we wanna punch three different ones. 
we're going to start with the stripe. And again, this is border punches. You just want to line your first punch up, your paper right at this little black mark right there. So pull it in there and punch, and then you just slide it along so your, your pattern matches up on the other side and just keep going. Okay, so we've got one border here. And then we're gonna go back to that color here. And we're gonna punch another one. I really wish I could see the chat, you guys. I have no idea if you can hear me <laughs> and how this is going. So I hope you're out there and you're having fun and you're ready for a fun night of scrapbook. And I really hope that you're that you're playing along with me because it just makes me happy to know that I'm not alone and that we're doing something fun together. Okay, so that's the second one. And now the third one, we just want to have one other color and I'm just going to use this cute little floral pink paper. The only difference this time is I'm going to save the little punch out stars and I'll tell you why in a sec. Okay, so let's just separate this out and grab those cute little stars. These make great confetti too. You have to punch quite a few <laughs> to get something, but they're really cute. Okay. So at this point, these are the pieces that we have. We have our 12 by two and three eighths, which has a scallop on the top. And we have our 12 by one and a quarter or so and our 12 by one. And at this point, you just want to adhere them together. So we're just gonna put one on top of the next, on top of the next. I just love layering. I think it's, it just is so fun to add a little texture and a little fun to borders. This one we want to mount onto the base just about a quarter of an inch down from the top. Okay, so now we've got it looking like that. And then we want to attach this bottom one and it's going to make it look like this whole thing is connected, you know, like it's one piece. And so we're basically just going to be adhering it wherever you wherever you want but i i say just cover it so that it's right about like so and now when i adhere up using these little pieces like this i like to use just a piece of parchment paper on some cardboard just so that i don't get repositionable all over everything but we really just need adhesive on that top edge and that's what's going to be what hangs down here. Okay, and then we're going to put this one on next. And you just want to mount it just above. Like that. And now we have one more to go. And you could stop there. That's really cute too, isn't it? Maybe I will. Let's look at this. No, I still kind of like the third edge. You really could go however you want, but I'm going to keep going. And so you see when you just add this just right, 
you're kind of covering up in the background. You've got that aqua showing through and that's kind of fun. But it's our little stars that are kind of mixed up here. So we could have saved maybe the aqua blue to cover it in here so you'd see those. But what I've used are the little epoxy stickers from the Botanical Burst collection. So all I really want to do is kind of just cover up just four of those. I really don't need to cover up the middle. Well, maybe I do. Let's just cover that up anyway, just in case. So then you just plop these on just to kind of cover that space up and make it look a little neater. Rub a little of that excess repositionable off of there. Chrislyn, I'm going to try something. Can you hear me on Zoom? I can. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me on Zoom? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> You can hear me on Zoom? I, you can? Okay, awesome. Because I am in love with this collection with the flamingos and the same pattern. It is so cute. So I'm wondering um, if you can hold that border up to the camera, the flamingo one, just a little closer so they can get a good look at that. That is darling. Awesome. Oh my gosh. So cute. Do you guys see how she just put those little stars right back in there? Okay. That is just so cute. And then Chrislyn, I'm also, I was a little worried whether I could say anything or if the echo was going to be bad. So, okay, good. Now you can hear me. I'm going to chat up a storm now. Okay. <laughs> Watch out. Chrislyn, they are going to want to know, um, that pad, what was that magical pad you were using with your oh, repositionable awesome? adhesive? You want to? I don't remember. That? I wish I knew how to, who to give credit to. What I is don't. that? <laughs> this is just the cardboard from anything, any paper pack, whatever, page protectors, whatever. And then this is just parchment paper that I stapled on. And repositionable doesn't stick to it. So it's just perfect. I, I can't work without it anymore. I love to not get stuff everywhere. Everywhere. I hope that you're hearing all that. I love right. that idea. Can you hear me okay still? Yeah, I kind of switched can. some things around. Okay. I think that's a great tip. What do you guys think? Because we're always talking about those little extra pieces of, um, of the... Uh, <laughs> okay. Everybody's saying we're sounding good. Okay. Yes. Parchment paper stapled onto the cardboard. Sandy got it. Awesome. Awesome tip. Thank you for that, Chris Lynn. So they, they always love eating up all your little tips and things from, you know, just 27 years of experience, right? <laughs> oh, this is a new one. I just learned this a couple months ago and it changed my world. So I'm, I'm thrilled. Okay. So okay. now the reason we did, um, we covered these up is because I just want to put you know, some little epoxy stickers on top and not have any of the little stars show through. And we really only need four of them because the center, we're going to be putting our embellishment. So that works out great for these because they're in a group of four. Or you can mix them up and do whatever. But I love how that looks. It's just a nice little fun look. A little way to change up the stars a bit. Anything against stars, but I love that. And then I'm just trying to think what I want to do. I'm kind of thinking of something like this in the front, but I want to add a few more things. So this is all about the beach. Let me just play a little bit. 
I'm kind of thinking of more green. I could use about 20 of these greens on this sticker. I wish I wish we had more. Let me just play a little bit. Have that hanging hang down. Maybe, that is so cute. So cute, Chris Lynn. Love it. <laughs> Where is Mary? Where's my Mary? Mary's my cluster girl. We talk a lot about clustering, which you're so good at doing, Chris Lynn. You're oh, clusters. Thank you. I just love, I love the stickers. And I like phone square. We talk a lot about clustering. Which you're so, so you just want to create kind of that little theme. There's kind of one area and, and cluster them rather than kind of just a few all over the page. They have a lot more impact and it just looks tidier. And um, so anyway, something like that. So you can see we've taken this border. We've got this border that we started out with here. Okay. And just by adding it into a different collection, we, we can really get a lot of mileage. So, out of so it. cute. I love it. I love now, it. Now, if I were going to put this on a page, a layout, now I'm just going to grab out, see, I'm a fast fab girl. And I would probably love want it. Love it. Love all the clustering. Love everything about it. I, I just, it makes me happy. The summertime collection makes me happy. I don't know, the colors, the turquoise, the green, everything in that collection. So pretty. So, so cute. how about if you added it to one of the Fasta Fab pages, papers? How cute is that? It just jazzes it up, it personalizes it. You could do your little journaling here. We've got a little echo of the circles. Journal here, add your photos. And if you wanted to make this a two page spread, how easy, just make one more of those and run it all the way across. And now you've got your two page spread and your photos then can be any orientation. They can be as many or as few as you want. And I just love how versatile that is. So that's the first border. Do we have any, I'm gonna pause here for a second, Lauren. Do we have any other questions for this one? Okay, I'm gonna just kind of let you finish for just a second. I'll see if, if there are any other questions and then I'll move on to the next one. I've got lots more to show you. Okay, what do you think? Should we move on? I love it. I think we can move on. And I'm, I'm, I'm a little scared to say too much because they said when I started talking, it echoed again. But everybody's saying beautiful, okay, love, love it. I love it. I think and we can they're, move on. It's gorgeous. And Great. I'm, I'm a little scared to All right. say too much. You move on here, okay? Echoed again. But everybody's saying beautiful. Love it. All right, so border number two. This is the um, same thing. It's the botanical burst. And this one I like to call the zipper border because it just it kind of zips up the front. This one I actually kind of made into kind of a zipper and let it kind of expand like so. And this is the lamplight border maker cartridge. So it's kind of fun when you just use half of it and you zigzag it a little bit, it creates a fun effect. So I did it in a few different ways you can see. And I just wanted to kind of show some alternatives and you can really do whatever you like, but I really love this um, triangular end of the lamplight cartridge. So that's kind of what I wanted to focus on. So for this one, Chris Lynn, I'm going to stop you just for a second. Could we try something? Because there's still a, a feedback. Can you just turn YouTube off? Turn YouTube off. I did. It, oh, you did. did. Yeah. 
there's there's still a feedback loop going somewhere. Because there's still a feedback. Can you just turn YouTube off? Turn okay. YouTube off. I did. Okay. You did. Yeah. There's there's still a feedback loop going somewhere. And I have my I have my volume going on the computer and not my phone. I turned my phone off. Okay. And I have my I have my volume going on the computer and not my phone. I turned my phone so, off. So so right there, right there, there's a feedback okay. coming yeah. from somewhere. Yeah. So I went That's ahead and true. turned off on my end. I turned off um, so, so YouTube. Right there, right there, there's a feedback. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Maybe somewhere. it's here. Okay. You know what? I think that was... <laughs> How are we doing now? You guys, I think I found it. Yay. <laughs> I think it was me the whole time. Oh, it was me. How are we doing? Are, are we still, we're still live, right? I, yes, Chrislyn, say something. I'm here, I'm ready. <laughs> I think I found it. I, it was, sorry, it was my fault, all my fault. I had a window open that I was hiding in the background. Oh, look at that. I got it. Okay. Yay! The video's <laughs> gone. What? The video's gone. Okay. No. Okay. Somebody, all good. Carrie says, all good. We are good. It was me. All right. I am so excited. M &M we're we're going to roll it all the way beautiful today. Look at that. M&Ms. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, okay, have a little snack. Okay. All right, so moving on to the next, the zipper border, here we go. We've got um, there are different tool that we're gonna use that's brand new this, this spring and summer is the lamplight cartridge. So that is this one. And again, we're really just picking a side. We're picking either the top or the bottom of this one to use. And um, so that's kind of fun. You've got choices to make. And the materials we're gonna use for this one this time, we're gonna, I'm gonna, just gonna keep this one out for reference. And we're gonna use the Spring Cottage collection with this because I don't know if you noticed this when you went through the Spring Cottage collection, I could use a lot more yellow. I mean, there's this beautiful dragonfly paper, but oh my gosh, I want more. I, I we've, we've just been lacking this beautiful sunny color. And so I love, love, love that we have a whole yellow pack and it matches beautifully. I never put those two together. That that does. Look at how yeah. pretty. Yeah, so mm. fun and so fresh looking. So I wanted to do something sunny with this one. So we're going to go ahead and start with this one. And first to do this one, we want to make a base. And Let's see, we want to do a base that is two and three quarters by 12 inches, and we're going to use white. Now, if you want to do this and have a different color showing in the background, then go ahead, pick a different color that you like. I'm just going to stick with white. That was, that was what my, my um, samples are. So again, it's two and three quarters by 12. Okay, so that's the base. Let me write that down for you. Okay, so you've got your first piece. And then we want to cut the next one. We're going to actually create a little border that we're going to cut in half. So when you look at this, this is actually a border that I cut in half and put half on this side and half on the other. So the first piece we want to cut is this one right here, which is that striped piece. And I'm going to use this piece for that. And this one we want to be two inches. So write that down, two inches by 12. Chrislyn, you're so good at giving them exact dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
with perfect. experience, I'm learning. It's hard to <laughs> go slow enough. I'm always saying, oh, just wing it. <laughs> oh, let me let me tell you. Right. This is a measurement. <laughs> no, it's okay. So now That's you'll see great. that we've got six different colors. And we want to cut them at one and a half by two inch sections. So I've just grabbed a whole bunch of um, just scraps. And this is a great way to use up scraps. And we're just going to cut six different ones that are one and a half by two inches. And you want to kind of take time with this and make them really as, as precise as you can because they are going to be all lined up together. So let me write this down while I, before I finish here. We want six of them at one and a half by two. Okay, so let's keep going here. I love that there are so many fun patterns with this collection. So the greens go really nicely with, with the yellows. So pretty, so pretty. Uh, that the the paper you're using right now, I don't know what about it. I just love that paper. It may it makes me reminds me of wallpaper or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's happy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So cute. I can't wait to see what this looks like with the spring cottage. Me oh my too. god, <laughs> it's so fun. That's what I love is just getting a good pattern for a border and then reimagining it. Right. I, it's so and what I did too is I, I pretty much picked this color first. This is the paper I picked first. And then I kind of took the colors inside it and decided what I wanted to um, focus on. That's a great tip. Yeah. And I just, I think what I really responded to on this was this beautiful little blue. So I want to make sure that that little blue is in my sample here. I'm just going to cut that right out of here. I have a little of that blue. Inspiration for the whole thing. Right, right. I love that blue. It's so pretty. Okay, how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is what you're looking for. You want six different ones and you can have a combination. I mean, I have to, I've got the yellow as the background here. So I used more colors that were different. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna just line these up and figure out how we wanna place them on our border. So just kind of pick Vary them a little bit. So Chrislyn, now that we have my, um, my echo problem resolved, <laughs> 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 it's all sounding and looking so good. Um, tell us, do you, I, I didn't get to ask this earlier when we were chatting, do you have design background because your brain is amazing. I just have to say that your brain. Is oh, amazing. you're so kind. Um, or did I, you actually? I worked at a graphic design firm for several years, but not I, as the office manager. I didn't have a oh. graphic design degree. <laughs> I wish I did. Um, that if I could go back and go to college again, that's probably what I would do. Right. I say the same thing. I do because, you know, kind of as you get into your older years, I'll speak for myself. <laughs> you mm -hmm. go. I know this when I was younger, right? And really enjoy what you do. But well, you're naturally gifted, I think. Oh, right? well, thank you so much. I think she just she just knows her way around paper and stickers for sure. <laughs> uh, you know, when we've all done this song enough, we're all pretty good at it. <laughs> okay. okay, so now what you want to do is just kind of line them up end to end. And I'm kind of mixing solids with prints, kind of varying the patterns a little bit just to give it a little variety. 
You want to make sure you have adhesive in the middle of these strips so that when we cut it apart, it's not going to fall apart. And it's as easy as that. We've got our border within a border, basically. And now we're going to deconstruct it just a little bit. Okay, so that's what we've got. This is so fun. We've never done one like this before. It's so exciting. Oh, good. <laughs> so we've got our base, right? And we've got this. So this we are going to cut in half. So just line it up between the two ones because you've got a two inch strip. So yeah, one inch here, one inch here, just line it up between the two and we're gonna cut it right in half. Oops, cut it quite hard enough. You know when you switch the mat over to the next side, you just have to press a little harder for the first couple of times. Okay, there we go. Look okay. how cute that is, oh my gosh. You can use this technique on a lot of things. I'm, I'm thinking out loud. Oh yeah. <laughs> so here is what basically how this is gonna go. And now we just have to punch the little pieces for the middle, okay? So let's go do that. I'm gonna punch a couple of this beautiful light blue cardstock. I've used cardstock for all of my samples. You certainly could just pick a color that you like from the designer packs whatever you like. And again, the lamplight cartridge, if you didn't have that, the mirrored triangles would also be a really nice choice if you have that one. Okay, so we've got one and we want to punch one more. Oh, that looks so good with the blue. I see where you're going. I do. <laughs> It looks so great. Okay, we've got our pieces. Now, is everybody doing all right? I don't know if I should just keep going or if I should hang on a little bit. Oh, you're, you're great. Everybody's just saying okay. it's all great now. Um, Sandy says after, she likes that, after you cut in the middle, you flipped the side. I caught that too, Sandy. I caught that. So the cut part you put to the outside. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So then you want to arrange it. This one I kind of like, I mean, this is, this is your choice here. You can zipper it like so and layer it and just play with it a little bit. Just kind of put your pieces back over and decide what you want to do. And I, you can see that on this one, I just put the points together and I liked how that looked. But I think I'm going to zipper this one because I want to show you just how easy it is to, to put that together too. So once you kind of you know line it up here, you can either take a pencil or just a tiny bit of adhesive so you get these in the right place. I'm actually, let's see, what do I have handy? I'm just gonna put a, a little bit of, I want a pencil. I just wanna, I just wanna make sure that I'm putting this in the right place. Pencils are my friend. I'm always yes. like, oh, I need to cut something. <laughs> a little pencil mark. <laughs> Okay, so then we can tape this one down. We know where it's gonna go. And you just kind of tape where your pencil marks. Okay. So now this, this side will go over like this. Just make sure we got our little points out there. That looks good. And then this side, Let's figure out where we need this one to be for this to match up right. 
Deb says you are incredibly creative. And I, I, I know I'm just sitting here with my mouth open going, oh, oh geez. You know, <laughs> You're very kind. It's just Chrislyn. It's just an ordinary day in the life of Chrislyn. <laughs> but, okay, now we know where we want this one to go and we just tape it down. And so what's nice about a little zigzag pattern is that it just adds a little movement and it, mm -hmm. it's just a fun little extra, right? Then what you can do is you just take your scissor and you just trim off this bottom piece. Make sure you've got a good, good tape on it and you just replace it up at the top. I love that trick. That's so fun. So fun. And now we can just tape our other pieces on. And I, what I love that Chrislyn showed me when she showed me these borders. Okay, this is the lamplight border cartridge. You know, I think sometimes we get stuck thinking that border cartridge is only going to be for summertime or for something, you know, but using the way you do, using just pieces, you know, like a peekaboo of it just changes the whole feel of the cartridge, which is so fun. Yeah. So there we've got, we've got our border. I'm just going to hold it up again okay. a little bit. Maybe I'm going to move yes. this out a little bit. <clears throat> uh, Edita just came on and Mary's here. Mary, my cluster girl. <laughs> <laughs> Some folks joined us a little later. Anybody who joined us late, uh, so glad to have you. And we have a special guest, Chris Lynn Mate. And I am just always so happy to see whenever she puts up a blog post up on the blog or um, anything that she does, I'm just happy about, about um, her. I also want to give a shout out you guys go find her on Facebook. So Chrislyn, tell them where they can find you on Facebook. Okay. I have my business page. Let's see is <laughs> now I got to know it offhand. Um, let me just make sure I get it right here. Yeah. Chrislyn, Rebecca, I Chrislyn love this. A creative memories, independent advisor. Yes. Okay. Sorry. I was saying something. Go ahead. Say it one more time for them. Chrislyn Mate, Creative Memories Independent Advisor. Okay. You got it. So everybody, right. I want you to go like and follow Chrislyn's page. Okay. Go find her. You'll see her photo. Go like and follow her page. Give her some love and let her know how awesome she is. Okay. Now we've got that Thank taken you. care of. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So thanks. So then what we want to do is just kind of add some more stickers. And I did, I did pull out more of these fun flowers from the embellishments pack because I think they go really nicely too with the with the rest of it of the spring we, cottage. We are all still waiting for those personally, but I know, I know. <laughs> we, can we, we can do them. Be kind of fun to add a little bit of the spring cottage type stickers. Now I should point out this one at this point could go either vertically or horizontally. Yeah, so look at that. You're not sure what you want to do when you if you make a border and you're just not sure where you're going to put it yet, it's maybe a good idea to wait if it isn't directional. If it's if it's got a certain direction it needs to be. Like I think that this um, flag banner one definitely kind of looked like it needed to be horizontal because of the, the banners. Mm -hmm. um, but this one could really go either way. I think of zippers and I think of them up and down. So that's kind of where I went with it. But at this point, you could make it go either way and it would be just fine. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're planning to add any titles or any directional things, you might want to just tack them on lightly with, you know, um, a little bit of a repositionable or just cut around them and, and place them with your border so that you can add it later when you know. Um, just my little tip so you can make it work for you. That's a great but I'm idea. thinking, I'm gonna just put, I think most of these, just so you know, most of these go on the best with foam squares. They, they're, they're a little bit cupped. Mm -hmm. So when you try to put them on with adhesive, they don't stick as well. They really kind of need that extra dimension of the, of the foam squares. So that's just, 
been my experience. If I want them, if I really want them to stick, they need to be on there with these. We love foam squares here. So, you know, oh, it's good foam squares. So it's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> they're so cute. Everybody's oh, just God. loving this border. I, they're saying it's their oh, favorite. When we've got Robin from Australia who hopped on and um, Wendy's here, Margaret, Yvette. So even, you know, people still get notifications, hop on, say hello. We're so glad to have you guys. I'm just going to play a little bit and figure out, maybe I'll put um, a sticker on the front. I just want to add a few more touches of the spring cottage to this one. I could leave it just alone as it is, but um, I kind of want to add a couple things. I love the artwork in this collection. I know it's just so oh. soft and pretty. Mm -hmm. I love the sun. I love the sun too. And the, I don't know, all the bugs, the birds, everything. Yes. <laughs> Little mushrooms. <laughs> oh, I can't get enough of it. So cute. Add a little one of these. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Just something like that. Bringing that blue back in, I see. Yeah. So good. Mm -hmm. And we'll do one more. Let's do a little butterfly. And again, I kind of am doing the clustering, kind of mm. putting it more toward the center here, but you get the idea. You can play around with, with these and add a few more personal touches. So there's your second border. So, so cute. Love now, it. If I, if I were going to put this on a page, you know, when I think of a vertical page, a vertical border, I may admit whether you use a page or just a, a piece of designer paper. I would probably, I always do two page spreads myself, Me but too. if I wanted something for this other side, so picture this being a two page spread or even if it's not, but I might add just elements from the border, not the whole thing, just just something really simple and narrow to go on the other side. So I love just, it. And uh, you know, the two page spread or even just on a, a single page, you know. Mm -hmm. It helps your eye flow across and say, oh, here's the start and here's the end, right? Yeah. So cute. I'm all about that lamplight border cartridge now. How about <laughs> I'm like, wow, there's so many uses for it. <laughs> I love it when it's little peekaboo. There was another one we had a while ago. Oh gosh, which one was it? That looked so good as a peekaboo. Well, I know the mirror diamonds, that's a fun one to do a peekaboo with too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So cute, Chrislyn. Love thank it. You. And thank you for sharing how to use it on a page. I know I've gotten those questions kind of, um, you know, like, okay, thanks Lauren for the border, but now what do I do with it? <laughs> right, right. So. And again, you know, I, I didn't put ideas for placement of photos because I really think it's, it's nice for you to just these are the photos I have to use. And whether they're vertical or horizontal or how many you have, you get to, you get to put them, you know, where they work, where, what works for your pictures. Instead of designing the page with all the spots for photos, right. you know, first. Right. Right. So I don't know, this is just going at it a little bit different, but for me, it's easier. Yep. We say it, you know, all right, ladies, you guys know what my, my go-to saying is, your photos are the star of your pages. So it just, that makes so much sense for me. That's the way I scrapbook too, because it's all about the pictures and then all this fun stuff, you know, is fun, but really you want your pictures to shine on your pages too. Absolutely, yeah. So, and you got lots of, lots of choices. That is so fun, so beautiful. I love that kind of, I don't know, what would you call that, like a birch? birch wood. Yeah, it looks like birch bark to me. Yeah. Uh-huh. So pretty. That was one of my favorites in the collection too. Yeah, me too. So what do you think? Should I do the third one of those or do you think I should yeah. move on to, yeah? 
I think we have time. If you're okay, Chrislyn, how are you feeling? I'm excited. We finally got the, my silly echo. Oh, that screen. Oh my gosh. If I had only known. Oh, I'm just glad I can chat with you now. I just feel like I'm going to avoid. (laughs) Well, wait. Yeah. I think they're going to love this one. I love it. Okay. So border number three, you guys. So again, I'm hoping that you see that so far we've, I've shown you ideas with the pink one. The pink paper works really well with um, baby. It works great with summertime, matches really well there. And we've had a lot of um, drought on pinks for a while. So, yes. yeah. um, so just think about that, adding this color to different collections that you have that maybe are missing that color a little bit. And um, even Staycation has a little bit of pink in there. Mm-hmm. And it's a way to kind of bring that out. Boho Escape, I mean, you can you can just yeah. add a little element of it and it really will help the blue i think the party time you, i mean there's a lot of stuff that has blue but this has a little bit of purple in it too so that's kind of fun mm-hmm. yellow works great with the um like we just saw the spring cottage but um mm-hmm. lots of the summer stuff and then now we've got um the green and the green is really great because in this botanical burst it adds elements of aqua with it too and it just I think I think it's just stunning so um, I wanted to do something else with that and I think that the the green looks really great with the emerald gemstone collection oh, so, wow I mean, got just these beautiful colors that I think match so well Perfect. so I wanted to do a little something with that oh that'll be fun that'll be fun and we should all also just make sure everybody knows there's a pink in the solid court, the new um, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> cardstock buffet that is going on now. I can't tell you guys enough, like grab the pack of pink. <laughs> and actually all the colors in the cardstock, they go so beautifully with the botanical burst. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's just a nice little addition. We, we have had a drought on some of those colors. So grab your pink and your, um, I love that aqua blue. What is that one called again? Let me see, I have it right here. Robin's egg, oh, so pretty. Yeah. Okay, so for this one, a tool that I was using, um, a couple different tools. We all know and love the decorative trimmer that's been around forever. And I don't pull it out that much anymore, but I really do love it sometimes just to add a little more curve to a, you know an angular border. And then the brand new um, leaf punches. We've got the spring leaf punch here, and then there's also, I mean, that five leaf punch, and there's also the spring leaf punch. So those work really well with the flowers and embellishments from that collection. So for this one though, because I was using kind of a, a different, more of a tropical looking paper, I decided to pull out the gum leaf punch. Does anybody have this one? Oh, I love that punch. Yeah, this is no, kind of a I fun one too. I- but I love it for layering. Absolutely. Ooh, yeah. Fun. yeah. So we're going to do that and we're going to use the decorative trimmer. So we want to kind of align, you know, grab our papers out and we need to make our base first. So let's see what size we need that to be. We want to cut a 12 by two and three quarters strip for the base. And I'm going to use this really kind of cool paper here. This is from the Emerald Gemstone. Anyway, I like to start with the base if I can and build it up from there. So we've got 12 by two and three quarters. There we go. And then we need the next piece. And that's going to be this piece right here that's on the bottom. And I'm going to use this for that. And that one is about a one and a quarter inch strip. Wow, I love this collection together. Isn't that cool? Because there's just a little bit of that Mm -hmm. bluish color to it. All right. And then we need to cut our little swoosh. 
And I grabbed out the dots again, and I'm just gonna give you an idea here. I think most people know this, but just in case you don't, this trimmer is a little bit longer than 12 inches. So to get a, to get a swirl, shape that is a little irregular and a little puffier on some spots and narrower on others. It just has a little more movement to it. Um, I like to start at the top and just find a, an edge here. We just want to cut the edge off that we're lined up right at the top and cut that piece off. And then we're going to align it at the bottom to the next cut. So just go to the half inch mark aligned at the bottom and cut again. And that's when you'll get that really fun, you know, irregular edge. Oh my gosh. I, I remember doing that. Remember the old one we had that you had to use with blades? Yes. <laughs> the mat. Okay. This yes. is so much easier, isn't it? Uh, it really is. <laughs> so there you so go. Fun. You got that. And I'm not sure about this. I might add a second because I really love how, how, gorgeous this color is too. So I'm just going to cut this and we're going to decide whether we want that or not um, later. So I'm going to have two solutions potentially, but I'm not sure. I like the pop of the dark color. Looks good. Contact. Do you? Okay. Mm -hmm. I was kind of, I was wondering about that. So it's just it's hard with that collection. There are so many absolutely beautiful papers that it's hard to li limit yourself to just one. Yeah. So. It's okay, so, so the ladies are saying they've got notebooks and they're taking notes and trying to remember everything. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so then I've got this one here and hmm, I really wanted to use this because I think it looks really pretty. Mm -hmm. But now I'm thinking I need to put it on the dark background. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change my mind here and I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut a one, one and a quarter inch piece of this and we'll just play. That's good. We change our minds all the time. <laughs> Sometimes I'll even ask them, what do you guys want? Because I can't make up my mind. <laughs> no, I did that one the wrong size. This one needs to be two and three quarters. Okay. All right, let's and, see. What we... um, some of the ladies are saying they remember the old mat and they still have them, still use them. I know. Yeah, well, in my trimmers, the old ones still too. So that's pretty, Chrislyn. I like the dark. Yeah. You? I do. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, but I still really love this. So I want to make a swirl. Let's try that. I don't know, but we'll see. It's just paper, right? It kind of brings in the color from the um, the sticker strip, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's just so mm -hmm. pretty. Okay, now let's just play with our elements a little bit. If I put this one kind of underneath this one. Oh, that's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Carla was asking, the dark blue is from Emerald Gemstone also, right? Isn't it? It is, yes. Okay. Yeah. So she's, Chrislyn is using the new Botanical Burst Green and mixing it with the Emerald Gemstone, which is just so clever. Just that. <laughs> I think we're going to go for this. I think it'll be great. So, okay. Um, so we want to tape down our first piece, which is the, the one and a quarter inch. And you want to put it maybe about a quarter of an inch up. Did I say that wrong? It is emerald gemstone. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. sorry. Did I say the right one? Emerald gemstone along with the green botanical burst. I'm sorry if I said something different. <laughs> you want to put whatever sticker. This is, this is one of the laser cut borders, which are just mm -hmm. stunning. Um, but you want to put this or, or a border sticker, or you could use even just um, another punched out piece if you wanted to, like the climbing vine, or, oh. you know, you could find something really pretty to put here. Now I'm, okay, grab this back again for these little pieces. Okay. 
I think those board, those laser cuts were out for a while. I'm not sure if they're back in yet. Oh, I'm not aware. Emerald gemstone borders were out. I, I want to say that was the one. I don't know. Things just seem to be flying, don't they? They do. It's crazy. <laughs> I, I just order twos of everything now, you know, give me two set. The well, laser. especially for the laser borders, because if you want them to go across both layout, both sides of your layout, you really do need two of each one and they only come with one of each. And so that's, I always tell people to get two of them. So isn't that fun? That's just, a, that's just kind of a, a neat way to bring out some of these greens and then pop it with some blue. Yes. And it has a totally different look than this one. It really does. But so gorgeous. Then I, I think we want to add some more embellishments. So this is where I, I thought the gum leaf punch would be kind of fun, um, along with the stickers. Chris Lynn, Debbie is asking, how do you find the time to go through all these collections and see what see what goes with what? <laughs> She's overwhelmed. <laughs> oh, you know, I guess by the time I, I play with them a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I work with them for the, for the home office quite a bit, a lot of them beforehand too. So I'm kind of, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of well-versed in what, what they're about. But I also, I keep my collections in the Power Project folders. And I love having all the pieces of each collection together. And so it's very easy. I think that may be how you sort too. I can't remember. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I really like to have all the components of a collection in one place um, together. And then, I don't know, I can, it was easy to kind of rifle through them and see which ones have the right shades, mm -hmm. you know. It's just that whole little data memory of yours too. I'm sure <laughs> like you, you start thinking and, and I do tell people, you know, the more you play, the more you use it. And that's why I think borders are such a fun uh, way of getting your hands on it. Even if you don't use the border right away, I always say, just tuck it in the collection, right? And yeah. um, it gives you that tactile mental uh, way of remembering what you have when you've played with it and used it. Absolutely. So I'm just kind of rifling through my, my scraps of this stuff. And I think I'm just gonna start punching a couple things out. See what, what looks good. So if we just get a little bit of different colors here. to bring in some of those and maybe Emily punch is is perfect for this collection yeah i think it's pretty it just has that spindly leaf kind of look I'll do. Okay, so Carla did say uh, the board, the laser borders are returning this month. So. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So if you want to copy this border and you don't have it, you'll be able to get it. <laughs> but there are some really beautiful um, border stickers that go with this too. Yes. So you really, you know, would be fine. I think substituting. I want to just bring some of that down here too. What do I want to do? All right, so let's just add a little tape and then we'll play with it. I think the repositionable adhesive was the best thing. Oh my life. gosh. <laughs> my life. <laughs> and we love your tip. So anybody who came late, that fun little pad Chrislyn has off to the side is a uh, parchment paper. So like your baking paper and all that. And it's just stapled and, uh, 
And then uh, like uh, after a while, do you toss it, Chrislyn? It lasts and lasts. I gotta be honest. I have, it's, this has lasted me months. I have not, okay. it doesn't, it's, it's amazing. And do you wipe off the little dots? No, you don't need to do anything. They don't stick to it. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> How about that? I'm going to try it too. Yeah, I guess a lot of different things, but I like that trick for sure. And I, I mean, I know that there are, there are products, there are pet mats and things you can buy, but man, this one's pretty, it's pretty cheap. Right. It's very, very effective. So as usual, if I put a little bit of um, stuff like that behind, then, then I'll take and pop my title up with foam squares just to give it a little dimension and just kind of to have that framed up a little bit. Still trying to figure out if I want to do any more or just leave it. Not sure. And then you have to pick which title. <laughs> I know there are so many, they're really cool. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna leave it. Let's just go simple and be done. Here we go. I like it. I think it's great. Do oh. small things with great love. What a wonderful title that one is too. Yeah, I can really go anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. That's nice. Okay, so order number three, I feel we're moving right along. Yeah. Chris, when you get a chance, just hold that up close to the camera so they can give get a, a great, beautiful look. Isn't that pretty? <gasps> love, love, love. Give her some love, you guys. Give her some hearts. <laughs> <laughs> They're loving it, loving it. Oh, good. So... Yeah, they're saying beautiful. Okay, well, guess what, you guys? That was three borders, but there's more. Are you guys ready for more? Because we have a little surprise, a little surprise for you. And I also want to just um, remind, I'm doing my drawing. So I'm gonna pop that toward the end for anybody who wants to stay on and watch. Don't forget, I'm doing my drawing, my customer drawing, and um, I haven't forgotten. So um, before we, um, we're not going to say goodbye to Chrislyn, but what I want to do is actually, I want to come back on screen for a little bit. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. And I'm going to switch our views just for a second. And I'm going to share something that I've been working on uh, with you. So let me get to the overhead view for you. Okay, so I'm gonna give that just a second to catch up with Zoom and I'm gonna spotlight my desk for a second. Let Chrislyn have a minute to catch her breath and <laughs> take, a, take a drink of water. She's been going at it, right? And let's see, I think that should be pinning my desk. So I'm just going to let that catch up. Let's see. It's pinning Chris Lynn's desk. Okay, there we go. Now we've got my desk. All right. Take Zoom a little bit to catch up with us. So um, what I wanted to share with you guys today is a page that I've been working on for in my People We Love album. And if you guys have been around my channel, you've heard me talk about the library of memories type of scrapbooking before. And I have just had this kind of, uh, as something I've needed to do. You know, I always think there's sometimes we get a little tap on the shoulder. Oh, you really need to, you know, maybe it's a pet that you've, you're, you know, you're missing and you want to scrapbook about that pet or a person, uh, a memorial page for a person. And, um, you just need to, you know, I feel you need to go with the flow. And that was another reason why, you know, when I started with the first page I showed you with my dad, I thought, you know, gosh, there's, there's nobody except me who's going to write down his story, right? So I need to take a few minutes and tell some things that I remember about my dad. And that kind of brought on this whole 
um, people we love. So my people we love, this album is all about family. This is volume one. You've seen me do pages in this about uh, friends also, and that's volume two. And this is a loose, uh, no chronology needed. You can just do whatever you want with uh, the timing of the photos, which is what I love. And I learned from Stacy Julian, you've heard me talk about that. So what I wanted to share with you to today, because June being Pride Month, my brother-in-law was actually on my heart. And so I thought I need to make a page, a two page spread of my brother-in-law, Jerry and his partner, Steve, and tell a little bit about that story in my People We Love album. And so I had a lot of fun going back. I, I mean, this is one of the very first pictures. I remember when, um, when I first met Jerry. And so I was able to tell the story about when we first met and then what I've learned with him growing up as Uncle Jerry to my kids and just being there. My daughter was like, oh yeah, I remember dumping ice down his shirt when he would babysit us and you know, just being a part of our family. And then the other thing that I've really learned about, um, learned from Jerry is that love really is love. And I know that's kind of said, you know, tongue in cheek, but truly Jerry has um, been able to teach me that with his relationship with Steve and what they've been able to share together and just being able to have that as part of our family experience for my kids, for my family, that has just been a wonderful addition to our life and to our family. And so I just wanted to share this page with them. He sent me a couple pictures of when they traveled to Italy together and to Hawaii. They do a lot of traveling, which is wonderful. And the thing that was interesting for me to kind of be a part of this process is just realizing, you know, when we would sit and chat, we would talk about relationship stuff. It's the same. So the thought of the most important thing is understanding, acceptance, and compassion. And that's what we can do. Um, just, you know, kind of bring that to the forefront, forefront as we focus on that um, for Pride Month. Just a little tip, if you have someone in your life that you'd like to make this page for, I had a fun time finding some um, titles. You guys know I love my title binder, right? So in case you're wondering where this came from, if you remember, this is, a, a I think, I can't remember if that's down there. I'm not there. sure I understand. Oops. Sorry, Siri. You're not, you're not supposed to be talking. I can't remember if that was over here. I, I don't know, this was somewhere. It was Love This Life. And I thought, oh, I think it goes right there. And then I thought, oh, look at love is, and all I have to do is cut off the TH and the life. And we've got love is love right there. And if you're wondering how I did the side, again, I kind of pulled in that um, botanical burst because I hadn't played with that collection, just like Chrislyn was showing us with those gorgeous borders. And let me show you if I can find it on my desk. It's under my left elbow. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, where'd it go? The, what I used to, ah, uh, here it is. What I used as a template was the sunburst template. So I was able to um, put the different pieces of paper down and just kind of use my pencil, just like Chrislyn was using her pencil. And just I just traced kind of these sun rays and then I cut them with the trimmer apart to kind of give that fun little burst element on the side of the page. So, you know, that's just another little tip when you have these templates, you can also, there some of them, yep, they're for journaling, but think outside the box, right, Chrislyn? You gotta just keep thinking outside the box. I love how you use that, it's so cute. <laughs> so, um, so if you guys want, oh, I'm sorry, I, I knocked my camera there. Um, if you'd like to, to see another border from Chrislyn, are you guys ready? 
I'm going to do a little drum roll. She's got another border for you. And I'm going to bring her back on screen and check it out, you guys. Oh, my goodness. If you love rainbows, I love rainbows. You're going to love this border. Okay, take it away, Chris Lynn. <laughs> I think it should be replacing the spotlight. I'm just going to give it a second to catch up. See if it, it did it. <clears throat> no, that is still my desk. <laughs> They're ready. They are ready. Oh, good. Okay, I'm going to see if I can repin this. Let me go back to, to gallery view. It, it just Zoom just doesn't, doesn't really want to play nice right now. Spotlight for everyone. There we go. Let's see if that does it. I see it. I, I don't do. Okay. <laughs> and it keeps wanting to go back to my uh, desk. So let's see. One more second. I'm going to take my video off. There we go. Okay, it worked when I clicked my video off. You're on. Look at those rainbows, you guys. They're ready. So, They're <laughs> first of all, Lauren, I absolutely loved your page. I, your layout was gorgeous and I love how you used the sunny days template for that. That was, that's special. That's really pretty. Thank you. It's a fun page to do. I love telling stories. It's a yeah. great way to do it. Mm -hmm. Nice, very nice. Um, well, she was talking to me about when we were chatting the other day, Lauren was talking to me about Pride Month and got me to thinking I had shared some of these with my gals on um, National Scrapbook Day. And we did a lot of rainbows that weekend. And I just love rainbows and they're so happy. And it, it's certainly really appropriate for this month too. So wanted to just share this with you guys. And what I had used at the time was lots of our current colors of cardstock along with, this was a shamrock, which is a special National Scrapbook Day color and um, the National Scrapbook Day Project Recipe Kit. So that's what I use. My dog is wasting her complaint that I'm on too long. Um, okay, so what I thought I would do is I'm just dying to play with the brand new cardstock from the cardstock mm -hmm. buffet. So I thought that I would use those colors instead this time and we'll see how that turns out. And maybe we'll, we'll use the, since it matches this, all those colors match the summertime collection really well. I mean, look at these, you guys, they are beautiful and it's a rainbow right on its own. So we're gonna just use all these colors. The only one we're not using is that blush color, but we're gonna use all of these this time for a rainbow and let's see how that goes. I love it. Oh right. my God, it's gonna be fun. Okay, rainbow. Right. So here we go, we've got, we've got the summertime stuff. And again, I cannot get enough of this collection. I absolutely love it. And, it, and again, if you didn't think that you were a fan of Fast and Fab pages, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. They are so versatile. They, you can cut them up however you want and you get all these extra designs and colors. So um, I love them both ways. I've already gone through more of the Fast to Fab papers than I have the regular designer papers. I mm -hmm. love them so much. So we're gonna start again with the base and we're gonna start with the border. And what we've got is this darker base color. And we have the cloud border maker punch too. So let's, let's start with that. And the very first thing we're gonna do is punch a border with the clouds. And I'm just choosing this darker pattern of paper from the designer paper pack. Clouds are one of my favorites. I didn't know I'd love them so much. But I think it's the irregular nature of the of the little scallops that it just is so much fun. They are just really fun to make with, with lots of different kinds of things. In this case, yes, they're gonna be clouds, but 
so often you're able to just use this and it just adds a fun element to your border. It does. So, we did way back when uh, the s'mores collection came out, we used them for marshmallows. <laughs> I love that. That's perfect. That was on the blog, I think. We redid that one. So Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I am just going to write down dimensions here. So it's 11 and 3 quarters. Oops, that's the next one. Let me write this down quick. Okay, so for the first one, after we've punched it, we are going to trim it to 12 by three and five eighths. Okay, so let's put this in here. And just the top of that biggest cloud is right about at the three and five eighths. So that is our base. Next, we wanna do the same thing. We're gonna punch again, and we're gonna use white cardstock. Another cloud. Let me get this. This is so fun. We've even had a few more join us on Facebook. Carol's here and Karen's here and you guys never feel bad for joining late. We love it when you hop on and say hello. So always happy to have you. And I'm just so excited we have Chris Lynn here with us tonight. So I love rainbows. So cute, so cute. So this one, once we've punched it, we are going to cut it to 11 and three quarters by three and three quarters. So, Really what we're trying to do with this one, you can see we've got it kind of, oops, oh, three and a quarter. Yeah, okay. I love how you kind of framed it in. I, I forget to do that sometimes, but it's yeah, a- Yeah, I don't, I don't use it that often either, but it, it really is kind of fun and it, just changes things up for you once in a while. Okay, so when you put this in, you can see that we've got a nice frame going, but we need to cut like an eighth of an inch off the edges. It's gonna clean this up too. We're just gonna take like an eighth of an inch off both sides. And now it'll fit really nice within here. Maybe we'll do a little more. Yeah, just a little bit more. Just gonna have to play with it. And a little bit more. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. <laughs> I am struggling with my brand new. I'm so used to the deep grooves I had worked into my last one. Okay. So here we go. We've got our our border going here. And I love how it just kind of adds a nice frame the whole way through so you can tape it down. Ah, Maria is on live for the first time. Welcome, Maria. All right. Sometimes that happens with a lot of replay watchers, but you know, we're always happy to have live ones too. <laughs> okay, now we want to punch, we want to cut this little frame that's going to go around in here. And that I used the shamrock green before, and this time I, I want this lighter green. I just think it's really pretty. So this one we want to be, let me get this. 11 by 3 eighths by two and a half. I'm gonna write that down. Kind of weird numbers. Pauline says she can't wait to get off work to make these. I know, right? Is she, I know. <laughs> so, so fun. 
Okay, so two and a half we've got here. And we want to make this 11 and 3 eighths. So again, weird numbers, but. Sometimes I think those little design elements are really what makes things stand out though. You know, just taking a little extra time, cutting it, framing it. I love seeing how you're changing up the whole look of this border just by using completely different colors. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. It's, this is an experiment. I, I you know, just thought I really want to try those um, new cardstock colors. So this is fun. Okay, so now we've got our base and, and then we just need our piece in the middle. So first we're going to cut a strip and Let's see, what color do I want to use? I think I'm going to use pink. I think so. And we're going to go 11 and a quarter by two, let's see, two and a quarter. Okay, so it's a little complicated, sorry, but you know, it has a good payoff, I promise. It's worth it. This is such a darling border. So fun. And we've got Sue is here from Australia and oh, Jen wow. from Australia. So, yep. Aussie friends. Welcome, welcome, everyone. should point out that when you make when you see a border and you're trying to work within the confines of certain space issues you might have on your layout if you don't have room for all of the layers that's okay you cut a layer or two out and it can shorten it can condense your border so it's not taking up so much space on your page a lot of times just shrinking things down just means removing a couple layers and I hate to sacrifice that, but sometimes you have to. At least maybe on the second page too, you know, sometimes I'll do a more decorative border on one side mm -hmm. and then on the other side, instead of mirroring the same thing, just like you were saying before, just a little element. Right. Space. Mm -hmm. I like, just like what you did with your rainbow page. I love how you just had that little element of the rainbow on the other side. Now the next thing, we just want to cut two, two and a quarter by two and a quarter squares. And those are just going to be our, our little, what I have black there. Oh, Karen's from Australia too. All right. Christina's from Florida. We've got, I think we're coast to coast. I think we are. I saw some folks awesome. high from California when Christina's from Florida. You're right. Kind of smack in the middle, right? <laughs> Chrislyn? I guess nor much. Nor yeah. nor up north though. Okay. <clears throat> Want to know something? I was asking Chrislyn. So how fast do you get your orders? Yeah. Next day. <laughs> Yeah, that's I'm spoiled here. Yeah, very spoiled. Oh my gosh, if only we have to, you know, you can, you've seen the shipping chart, but here in California, um, sometimes three to five days. Oh, wow. If I don't do two day shipping, sometimes I just can't wait to have it two days. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've never once sprung for the two day shipping. <laughs> Not necessary. No. That's wild. So, okay. so I'm going to just put these on. I marked it, you guys, at two and a quarter just so I got them even because you really want them even on here um, because you're going to add the rainbow pieces next. So like I said, this is a, a little bit detailed, more detailed than the other three I showed you. Those were those were like with them out quickly. This one's a little, got a little bit more to it, but I think that they're really fun. They're, um, they're going to allow you to 
um, do something besides that. So we've got the rainbow here, but we're also able to make a, a journal card, a journal box, which will be fun to add on the page. And we'll even be have extra stuff to make a card. So I, I love that it's got kind of extra purpose. Okay, so here's where we are so far. I'm just gonna leave these all here. This is the order I cut these. And if you're just catching up, go ahead and follow these measurements and you'll have everything to get to where we are at this point. Now what we wanna do is make the rainbows and that's, that's the fun part, right? So we are taking each color and we're gonna go right down the list. And so I thought to make it a little easier for you to see and to understand, I actually made this bigger. I don't even think it's big enough. So oh, there uh, you go. Perfect. if I just stand here and hold this for you yeah. forever, <laughs> or if you guys want, just take a picture of your screen so yeah. you have that. I'm just going to stand here for a second more and go ahead and take a picture of your screen. And um, then you'll have all the measurements for each of the colors. I love those colors. Look at the, and, and I love it when they make it, you know, food, paprika. Tap I know, I know. It'd be <laughs> fun to, um, I, I thought that at Sherwin Williams too. If I could just see that, who's the person that names all the colors of all their paint? <laughs> so fun, it's so fun. All right, so. Now we're going to take all of our cardstock and we're going to start with the biggest one first and that's our pink or red if you were going to go with more primary colors, whatever, we're going to start with that one first. And that one we have got the outside of the small pattern and the blue blade. So this is going to be our biggest circle. And so we want to cut two of each of these. This is my first time even cutting into this brand new cardstock, and I just am excited to see what the rainbows look like. This uh, cardstock, it's it's the nice, thick, thick nice, beautiful cardstock. Yep. And before we put these away, so we've got when when we're using all these layers of this beautiful thick cardstock, it's going to get really thick. So. I'm gonna have you, what I would recommend is once you cut your two circles out, grab one of the smaller patterns. I'd say get the, get the largest circle pattern and put it over it and cut out the inside because you just, you're just gonna to have too much weight there. Let's just use the green blade. It doesn't really matter. We just wanna take some of the weight and thickness out of there. So for the, for the larger ones, just hollow them out. And you can always use those cutout pieces for something else. Mm -hmm. And the trick here to do that, you've got to hold that pretty tightly, right? This one? You do, yeah. You want to make sure it's, it's, it's on there pretty good. Okay, so those are your first two cuts, those two circles outside of the small pattern and the blue blade. Now we're going to cut the next color, which is the paprika. And we're going to use the outside of the small pattern and the red blade. So really for all of these cuts, we're using each of the patterns, but we're only using these two blades. We don't need the green for anything unless I used it to cut out the inside, but you don't really need the green. That makes that nice step down from going from yeah. red yep. to blue to red. Yeah, I like it. If you're using the new circle cutter, just I, I didn't I didn't figure out the dimensions for each of these, but you could kind of figure that out. But that would work really well too. Oh, for some of it, I think when you get to the smaller circles, it would be there. It doesn't go much smaller than a like three three inch circle. Um, we had a great question from, let's see, Linda. Is the taffy pink the same color as the former one from years ago? I can actually answer that. Oh, good. I can. 
if you guys have seen in one of my videos, I've shown you, I have a huge ring of all past cardstock and I have taffy and it was one of my favorite colors too, Linda, but it is not the same. The new taffy, same name, which they've done before. There have been other colors that they've named the same, but the colors are a little different. I would, I would say the new taffy has more blue in it. That's what I would say. It's a beautiful pink, like the tone of the pink is about the same, but uh, the color, instead of yellow, it has more blue. So there you go. <laughs> Good description. Um, okay, now we're at the honey mustard and we're gonna use the large pattern and the red blade for this one. Kristen's on. You must have your babies to bed if you're able to scrapbook, Kristen, huh? <laughs> Maybe so. Or they're in your lap. Do you remember having to do that? Chrislyn, you grew up with a, a young one through CM, huh? <laughs> I did from day, you know, I think I signed on when she was about seven months old. All of her, she, her life is very well documented. <laughs> All right. I, so as you can see, I'm still cutting the middles out of these, but I probably won't do any more past this one. Just the first three or so. Just cutting the middles out. We do have a question about the the new circle trimmer, and I, I there's a lot of um, tutorials of um, how to do the step down with that one. Mm -hmm. Probably you could do the same thing, wouldn't you think? Um, you can, except that these get pretty small. That's true. So you can only go down you to. Can't, you, it doesn't do small circles. So the cutting system is really kind of imperative for, for this. You could do the larger circles, but what's nice with this is it's, it's an even step down. You right. know, if you go between the blue and the red blades. Right, right. There so right go. now we've used, we've used the outside blue and red with the little pattern. And then we just did the inside of the large pattern with the red blade. So the next one, the green here, the marsh green, is going to be the inside of the large pattern and the blue blade. Oh, look at the colors. They're so fun. They are. They're going to be a fun rainbow. Whoops. Okay, so now I'm not really going to bother with cutting the insides out anymore, but um, just by doing that for the larger ones, it'll help. Okay, so now we've got four of them, and we're going to move to the medium pattern inside and the red blade for this robin's egg, which is such a pretty color. Love it. Love it. So she's amazed at how fast you can cut circles. <laughs> <laughs> and then one more, and we've got the blue blade with the medium pattern. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Now, if you don't want the solid cardstock by now, I don't know, because that's really pretty. <laughs> that's so cute. Wow. Okay, so now we start putting them together. And I'm just going to go 
Maybe I'll start with the smallest onto the next. We'll just do that first. So you want to make sure that you've got lots of tape on here because we're going to be cutting these apart. So just make sure they are good and taped up. I go through a lot of repositionable, but it is so worth it. I almost don't use the regular much anymore. It's just, it's funny. It, yeah. And I think just, I've gotten so used to the action of the repositionable that I kind of flub up when I use the other stuff now. I don't know. I guess I use it. I do use regular tape for my pictures most of the time. Yeah, yeah. Or like big sheets that you, if you're. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and now we just, I'm going to get this thing back. Tell you, it really does save on messing up my, my other surfaces. So I'm just going to put adhesive around the edges. I like how this is looking, they're pretty. A little more pastel-y, but that's kind of fun. It is fun. I love the, those colors, wow. And we're looking at it through your Zoom screen. So can you imagine in person, guys? I mean, if you if you have the colors, you know how gorgeous they are. Okay, last one. This is so fun. I can't wait to see how all of a sudden you have all these fun little rainbows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is, it's a process, but then you get, you get a lot out of it. I love that you can make, a, you know, the card kind of helps too. You just get more bang for your buck here, though it's taking longer. And Colleen, these, um, whenever we stream live to YouTube, you can watch, rewind, rewatch, watch Chrislyn in action over and over till your heart's content. <laughs> it will uh -huh. stay on my YouTube channel. And um, so, yes, you can definitely replay. Now I'm just going to, um, I want to make sure I'm getting the very center of these. So because I'm going to be cutting them in quarters. Do I have this right? Eight, four. Yeah, that was right. I think. Well, you know what they say, measure 15 times and then cut Sorry. one. <laughs> well, that's totally not right. I knew I was like, I've got to be off here because it's supposed to be even on all sides. There we go. All right, so we've got these. And, you know, you just want to, you've got a lot of layers to go through here. So just kind of go through it a few times with your trimmer and hold on really good. And just kind of give it, oh, it's still not through. So yeah, you just want to really make sure you get it all the way through. Oh, look how cute that looks. <laughs> I know, just stop right there, right? That's another choice. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I think we're going to have to make four rainbows just so we can yeah. have rainbow circle patterns. Oh, they're so, so cute. 
And again, use your little sight guides to see what you're doing. It might help you too to start the cut in the middle of the shape and then, um, and then go out to either end. So we're not able to see, but you, you drew a pencil line all the way I across. Did. Yep. I thought I saw you do that. So yeah, I just wanted to keep it as even as I could. Oh, those are just so darling. <laughs> so cute. Mark everything. Yeah, I really like these colors together. That's fun. One more. So cute. Okay, now we can finish this up. So we've got our base and now we just wanna take four of them and we're just gonna lay them across our border. Let's see what we've got here. My gosh. So cute. Now who would have thought to use, uh, only you, Chrislyn, would have thought to use those patterns and those colors and backgrounds that is so cute oh my gosh they're loving it loving it loving oh, it <laughs> with the summertime and i saw a comment go by oh it's so fun to think of cutting the best of fab apart right using pieces of it That's yeah such a i i had a couple people tell me oh i don't think i'd use that i don't want that pack and i was like oh my gosh are you kidding it's my favorite i told her i said you take it home and you look at it and if you can certainly return it and that's no problem but she didn't return it <laughs> <laughs> i always like choices you know for yeah. me i love choices like you i keep it all together in a collection until I've used up just about everything. And then okay. I'll put that in my, my stash, my paper stash, but. Okay, so there's our border. And now we can just kind of have fun with, uh, we'll add embellishments and stuff down the road. So that's, that's kind of that. I just wanted to make sure we got to the other little things that we have left because since we needed five for this, we have these three leftovers. And oftentimes I like to make a journal box to go with my borders so that if I'm doing say a two page spread, I can put the journal box on the other side and it's just brings that the elements together and kind of creates a theme. So to do that, we just want to cut and you really could make this any size you want. It's, there's nothing magic about the size I have here, but I will let you know the dimensions just so you can make it that size if you want. Okay, so for the journal box, the, the base piece is four and three quarters by four. That's from summertime. Was that from the Fast to Fab, the one you have right now, Chris? Oh, no, this is from the designer pack. That's from the designer pack. Okay. And it's like a teal, teal with little it's like a navy with teal dots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So cute. All right. And then the next layer, I, I just take again that um, green piece. And actually, I didn't think ahead because I don't have a piece now that's because I used part of that fast to fab paper. So what I'm going to use instead, I think I'm going to use this pink. So I'll bring some of this pink in from up there. Yeah. And that one is going to be four and a half 
by three and three quarters. I love how you're mixing the brightness of the, the solids, but then you're really going into a pastel with that pink, and then you're really going high contrast with the navy. It's just <laughs> everything work, right? Yeah. But that's why we love your brain, Chrislyn, because Aww. you... <laughs> So it's always fun to watch when you guys say and, and just kind of learn from the pros how to get it, how to put everything together. I love, I love that we have this lined paper now. It is, I use it all the time and I keep it really handy because um, I love to have, I, I write so much neater if I have lines to go by. And it, if I've made a journal box ahead of time, then I know that I'm leaving that a good amount of space. So if you think you've got a big story to tell with this, make sure you make yours bigger. You don't have, this is not a magic size. I'm just telling you what I did, but um, definitely keep that um, lined paper handy. So there we, we have our three sizes, four and three quarter by four, and then just step it down by a quarter inch for each one four and a half by three and three quarters and then four and a quarter by three and a half. So let's put that together real quick. This goes together really, really quickly. I find that when I've been working in my people we love book, I'll, sometimes I'll just write first and then cut my journal box. Oh, okay. There's a lot that, you know, if I'm telling this story, if I want to, you know, make sure um, it's a little different kind of album, right? Where you want to do that. You want to yeah, yeah. the story, but otherwise I love those little journal boxes. Kind of makes you remember to mm -hmm. save space for your words. Okay, you did a mind read there. I just totally, I didn't realize there was this cool green on the other side of that pink, so I picked it. <laughs> <laughs> a little pivot. Yes. Okay, so now we can pull this together really fast and we have our journal box. Again, we can add, we can add little embellishments later, but we've got the idea, right? So cute. Then the final thing is to, to make a card for, for the other two. We still have two pieces of rainbow left. Do you want me to go ahead and make a card? Yeah. What are you right. guys? They're all still chatting away in the chat. That's awesome. Okay, so the card, you know, if, if you're gonna make it, you can grab one of those blank cards from the blank card kit, or if you're making one from scratch, we just wanna go, um, we're gonna have it be five and a half, which is right at the edge of your trimmer by eight and a half. And then we're just gonna fold it in half using the scoring blade. Right at the four and a quarter. Oh. Roxanne says she's not very good at creating things, designing things, but she can copy really well. Oh, copying's the best, isn't it? The best. I love <laughs> copying. Okay, so for this one, I'm just going to use some of this really pretty paper here. I'll get a little different color going on. And then for the inside, we just want five and a quarter by four and it's just going to frame it out nice. That's the magic number for yes. um, um, inside mat for the cards. <laughs> 
Oh, I love that side too. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Hate to cover it up, but rainbows, rainbows. So this could not be an easier card to put together. Once you've got all those already cut, yeah, it's so easy. And you could sure brighten someone's day with that card. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't you guys love to get that card in the mail? <laughs> I would. <laughs> the fun part now is you just figure out what you want to do. And I, I think um, I would pull out some of those. Lauren, do you think so too? The, some of these things. I think some of these are oh really, really cool. These are from the must have mm -hmm. laser embellishments. And you really could, I mean, any of these make really cute card oh, segments. That. Happy, 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 happy. That's got my vote. <laughs> with you. Life is better with you. Oh my gosh. So cute. Fun is, I mean, they're all cute, right? right. How do you pick? Oh, yeah. you. Just because. Nah. Okay, all these ones with white, I think they just pop. Mm -hmm. So I would just choose one of those and then you could take one of them also and you could pop it up with foam squares on oh your- Oh my gosh, isn't that-, that be cute? Oh, darling, love it. <laughs> so what do you think? Should we do happy, happy or life is better with you? I love the happy. Not I fun? Know. Okay, we'll do that. I, I think I like the repetition of the three. Yeah. Okay. Three, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about foam squares for this. This would take me forever. And actually, really, what when I'm using these laser cut titles, I I usually use um, the precision point adhesive. I think it then you don't you don't have all these little teeny bits of repositionable flopping about. But oh, that is so cute. Yep, Sandy agrees. Loves the happy, happy, happy. Good. Okay. Now this one, I'm just going to pop it up on one so you can get the idea, but um, this is, this is what I would do. Oh, darling. Yeah. So there we are. Ooh, oh my gosh. This was so fun. So fun. And look at just by switching the colors, how, what a different feel. Yeah. It's a totally different kind of look, isn't it? So, okay. Awesome. Anybody have any questions or are we all good? I know. Kristen's like, I'll send my address for the card. <laughs> 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 I love you, Kristen. Okay. So, um, yeah, you guys, do you have any questions for Chrislyn, before we kind of wrap things up, we have been going at it a long time, you guys. You are troopers for hanging in there. We still have over 100 people on right now, Chrislyn. So. Wow. <laughs> loving your ideas. And I am just so blessed to have you be here with us today. And um, think of some questions. I want to just uh, do a little drawing um, for my um my customers. So I put out a challenge while we're kind of wrapping up and, and I'll come back. You guys think about that. I'll give you a chance to type it in the chat. Um, and let me turn my video back on. And I gave my customers a challenge and I said, okay, I want, you know, I, in my customer group and I said, I want to see your pages. So put a page up that you've been working on and then my other question was, you know, I'm always kind of curious, well, what videos do you like? So those were the two questions I gave my, <clears throat> excuse me, my, my customer group. So the first one right here, and, and they had some fun. I got to see some of your pages. You guys blow me away. I love your creativity. And um, we had some fun. So I've got a few product certificates. The first one, these, this one is for people who posted pages. My, my sweetie Audrey helped me write the name. So I'm gonna hold it way up here and I'm gonna pick this one. And that is Nancy R. You got the um, certificate for putting, posting a page. And then I had a lot of fun comments 
from people. So I'm going to dump those out and put my new ones in for what videos you guys like to watch. And it was so fun. So what would you guys say here on YouTube? I, we, I had a lot of people say organization videos were favorites. Then I also had people say tool videos were favorites. And then of course, borders, which, you know, which is why we have to have Chris Lynn on, right? Because <laughs> we need to know that, I mean, it's just all about borders. Borders are so fun. So here um, we're going to do the second drawing and I have Darlene is my winner for the second drawing. So thanks you guys for playing with me and congrats you two. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's check in. I'm going to see if there are some questions for you. I can take my wrong button. <laughs> All right, you guys, here's, here's some questions. Um, they're saying, thank you. Thumbs up. Great live. So pretty. Um, yeah, they said they loved having you on. So let's see, any questions? Any questions? Where will we be able to get the printouts? Okay. Um, well, that's, that's a good question. I think probably the best thing to do, Chrislyn put all the post-its down as she was going through. And um, hopefully you can just watch replay and then see that, see those, um, see those. But if, if there's, Carolyn, you, you know how to get hold of me if you have trouble. Okay. Um, Darlene says, thank you. Thank you for making it happen. Um, so creative and motivating. They love your designs. And I think any questions, guys, thumbs up, thumbs up. Yes. <laughs> Yay to the winners borders. Okay. All the videos came here for the organization stayed for the talent and community. Kristen, thank you. You're an awesome part of the community. And I think they're just saying thanks. So um, yay, yay. All right, one sec, let me just switch back over. So, thank you again, Chris Lynn. I, I mean, it's been such a pleasure to have you on and- All mine, all my pleasure. A, 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 <laughs> hanging in there with me while I figured out. I'm so sorry for the glitchy, glitchy beginning of that, but we had so much fun having you on. So hopefully we can do it again. What, what do you guys think? Would you like to have her on again? We'll give her a break, but <laughs> have her, have her come back. I know I would love it. So thank you. Thank you. You know, you can find Chris Lynn on the blog. She is one of the top contributors for the creative memories blog and uh, just search for her name. Um, and like I said, go find her on Facebook, follow, like her page. And, um, and, you know, she might surprise you put some fun things up on her page. I've gone over there and checked it out. And believe me, I love looking at all her projects. So they're beautiful. All right, you guys. Well, then it looks like we are finished for the evening. And uh, we'll say goodbye. And remember, until next time, I hope you take time to craft your joy and we'll see you again soon. Thanks again, Chris Lynn. You're Bye. Welcome. Thank you.